Guys, I am officially back from Marathon Weekend, so grab your favorite hot beverage and settle in and let's talk all things Walt Disney World Marathon Weekend. Okay, so, oh my goodness, there is so much to talk about um, and I was going to make a list because I just have so many thoughts running through my head um, but I'm just gonna kind of wing it and see what happens so settle in and let's get started okay so first things first let's talk about the expo we made it down we actually stayed at a place off-site one of the good neighbor hotels called Saratoga Villa Resort it was incredible. I would definitely recommend it. We had a two bedroom, two full bath, kitchen, living room, little balcony, um, villa. It really lived up to the standards of a good neighbor hotel. So I'll put the description down below to that hotel and um, how you can check out their website and see if it might be right for your family on a big Disney vacation. So we made it down Thursday evening and um, actually fell asleep quite early. Uh, had a nice dinner and fell asleep. Woke up Friday morning, time to go to the expo. So we had got to the expo about, I wanna say about 10 o'clock and no lines. Uh, there was, I uh, zipped right in, got my bib, had them take a picture because it's a challenge race so that they would have your picture and your bib number so you could pick up your challenge medal at the end of the marathon. And then I decided to uh, check out the floor, see what merchandise was on the floor for Run Disney. And I purchased a couple things, which I'm going to show you. I actually didn't spend that much money on merchandise in general down at Disney this year, but the things I did buy at the expo, I got from the Run Disney merchandise. I picked up this little cowl neck running top that says happiest race on earth. It's by Champion. It's a really thick cotton, so this is good for keeping my chest warm when I'm out for a run. It's much like the Under Armour one that I wear already. This one's just made from a sweatshirt material versus the material that the Under Armour is made from. But I picked that up. The Disney Kitty will be excited to see that I got my very first race pin slash first Disney pin ever. So this is the marathon pin and I'll bring it up closer for a little closer look. It's really beautiful. It's got the purple, which was kind of the color scheme of most of the stuff in the Disney Expo. It had a very 90s feel to it, pinks, purples, um, but the, the, the way it was designed was very 90s. Um, so yeah, so picked up that pin. Very excited to have my very first Disney pin. Who knows what kind of rabbit hole I have led myself down on purchasing one of these. And then the uh, race shirts that we got, the, I'm wearing the one for the marathon, which was red. And then the half marathon was the black Donald and Mickey half marathon 13.1. Then the challenge race, was the white with Goofy and Mickey and adds the orange on it. So I just love that we get these really great tech shirts for each of the races. So picked up those. Also got a couple of um, pens that they were handing out, the 25 years of running Run Disney 25th anniversary pin, as well as this fun little, uh, little freebie that they, freebie, freebie that they gave you uh, when you picked up your bib and that was the 25th anniversary luggage tag so bring that up a little bit closer so you can see so these little extras actually go a long way in the run Disney races I think because um, it's just it, it's nothing but a luggage tag but it it makes you it just feels special and it feels like oh all that money that i paid to run these races i'm getting a few extra little goodies there so 
picked up my stuff, went through the expo. Oh, 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 got a new pair of Ufas. If you guys have not tried these sandals, these are recovery sandals and they are incredible. Um, this is my second pair. I love them. They really saved my feet after um, the half marathon and the full marathon. So definitely, and I'll put a description down below for the Ufas. So after the expo left, headed over to the boardwalk because I had been invited by Cigna to join them at their bloggers meetup. And that was so cool and so fun. And I, I was just in awe because I got to meet some of my favorite YouTubers as well as some of my favorite um, Instagrammers. I got to meet Gerald from Res Runs. That's the first meeting that I had of him in person. And I was sitting with uh, Laura and Jackie and Rob from Joyful Miles. And that was amazing to sit with them and chat with them. It's just so surreal when you actually like finally see these people in real life uh, because you're so used to watching them on camera. So sat with them, had uh, so much fun. And then Gerald came in, got to meet Gerald, give him a big hug. That was awesome. Just the event itself. It was just cool to be there. It was, it was a really fun experience. Cigna put on a great meetup. We got great goodie bags at the end, played some really fun games, and just had a really nice lunch. So that was very special. And I'm so honored that I was asked to come and be a part of it. Headed over to the Joyful Miles meetup. This, by far, was the highlight of my entire race weekend. Um, it was the meetup where I finally got to meet in person Heather Jerkinson, who has just been such an inspiration, her and Gerald and the whole entire gang over at Joyful Miles. Meeting them in person, giving them a hug, and in that meetup was getting to meet some of you guys that were there. And I know that most of you who have found my channel through them, so I can't thank them enough for introducing um, me to you guys and you to me, but getting to say hello to you guys or those of you who came up to me and said hello. I'm horrible with names, so I'm still trying to remember everybody's names, but I, I, I know definitely Beth Nixon came up and said hello to me, and I knew immediately when she said she was Beth Nixon because I, you know, see your all's comments and respond to you guys, and it was just completely the most amazing, amazing moment of the whole weekend was getting to meet you guys, and I will never forget that. And I hope in the future we have many more chances to meet up and run some miles together. But that really was, that meant the world to me. And I am so inspired by all of you and all of um, your miles that you have put in and the work you put in. And for some of you, it was your first, you know, big mile races. And I am just, I'm beaming with pride for you because you did it. You absolutely rocked it. And meeting you was just incredible. So know that that meant the world to me. So thank you. So from the meetup, went back, had uh, some dinner and 2 a.m. came busting right along. <sighs> so got to the race start about 3 30 in the morning which is great i was in layers when i got to epcot it was honestly 37 degrees that's what my phone was registering and it was freezing so i had long running pants on my sparkle athletic skirt my arm warmers um a long sleeve tech shirt underneath or over top of that i had throw away sweatpants i had a throw away sweatshirt i had my toboggan on it was cold and my gloves it was very very cold uh, but I did get there early enough that I could have a picture taken with a character that I haven't had taken yet and that was dopey uh, so I was excited to wait in that line and it gave me something to do from there I met up with my team team shenanigans and we moved on to the race corral and then the race started and we were off and you guys I have to say 
out of all the race weekends that I have done with Run Disney, this was by far my favorite because this is the first time that I have stopped for characters and just absolutely taken in every mile of these two big courses. And I have to say that was the best way to do these races. Absolutely, I had so much fun. I got some great photos with my, my teammates. It was, yeah, it's, it's the best. Um, so went through, got all of the character stops and there were some good ones too. There was Jack and Sally, which made me super excited. Uh, Tomater was there. Uh, who else did I get on that particular course? Um, Mike and Sully and Woody and oh my gosh, just so many. And then the, the, the castle shot in front of the castle remind myself that when you're coming through the castle, there's always going to be a race photographer on your left coming around that bend. So scooting yourself over just a little bit, pulling back your pace to give you lots of room in front. And then you get that, that, that great castle shot. Um, so moved right along, came through the half marathon finish, felt good, felt like my legs were, you know, bouncing back after a good taper. So that was nice. And then of course, that is where I got the half marathon medal. And these are gorgeous medals, I have to say. I'm gonna bring it a little closer for you to see. So really, really well done, Run Disney, on these medals. And a lot of people don't like the yellow and the red, but I have to say it's kind of flashy and tacky and I love it, so. We went to Disney Springs for one big reason, and that's because we had tickets to do The Void, the Star Wars virtual reality. Okay, we're gonna get to that in a second. But first, I bought some things at Disney Springs. Um, I purchased from the running store, Fit to Run, a pair of the Gooder sunglasses. So these are, um, running classes specifically made for runners they are a very light kind of silicone material super light they have those polarized lenses um, i needed them because i knew it was going to be sunny for the full marathon and i've been wanting a pair of these they're they're relatively cheap at 25 dollars and holy moly get yourself some gooder sunglasses because these are so lightweight you don't you like forget that they're even on and they wrap around your ear what was nice is this was actually the last pair they had fit to run and with your metal or your race bib you got a percentage off so lots of good discounts at disney springs when you are there for race weekend so i ended up getting these for 22 dollars, which was very very nice so we did the void experience um, at disney springs and holy moly, do it. Just do it, do it. It was $25 plus tax, so it roughly came to about $29. It is a full immersive virtual reality Star Wars experience. 100% do it. I don't wanna spoil anything, but it will, it, the best $25 plus tax that you can spend. And then I came home, picked up, my bib and my shirts, and now we're heading in to the Run Disney merchandise. You guys, it's half marathon time, and it is 4.03 a.m. I got a good night's sleep, and it's 37 degrees which you know what I'm kind of glad I trained in this kind of weather now all that complaining that I felt like I was doing is going to pay off okay guys we are in the corral corral D ready to start I'm here for team shenanigans <laughs> there's Ryan ready to run Saw Gerald in the corral. Yes, Chris. Yes. <laughs> We're gonna have some fun. Stop at all the characters. And yeah, let's get this thing started. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> 